how has the, the challenge of um, reaching the scoring title been for you? Well, I mean, it's been a long process. I've played basketball for a long time and just long hours in the gym, working hard and just uh, battling through every game. Um, for the folks that don't know, tell them what you accomplished in the game against Paintsville. Uh, against Paintsville, I scored a career high 71 and uh, broke the state's scoring record. Well, uh, when is the first time that you played in a varsity game for the Jenkins Cavaliers? I was in fifth grade and we was playing Cordia. How many points did you get that game? I don't know the total. I do remember I hit a pretty big three. <laughs> so you've been playing varsity ball for a long time. Uh, talk to me about some of your, your heroes or maybe some of the people who you styled your game after. Um, I kind of style my game after a lot of players. I just kind of watch the game. and If I see something to do I like, I try to incorporate it into my game especially like Steph Curry with his ball handling and his floaters. Not just his three-point shooting, but his attack to the basket. The way he finishes over taller players, I try to model my game after that. And I also like Kevin Durant, just his mid-range mid, mid game and just the way he scores the ball. Talk to me a little bit about uh, your routines, your diet, some of the things that you do uh, to be the player that you are. Um, like my routine in the summer is I get up um, around six and lift weights. Then I go and babysit from 8 to 3, so after that I come up to the gym for a couple hours and work on some in-game moves and my shooting. And then like during the season, it's like during pra I'll practice and shoot before and after practice and get some extra, shot up, extra shots up. What makes you different from some, some of the other athletes that you've played against? Uh, probably just my passion for the game and just my aggressiveness, how hard I play. Okay, now you have uh, recently signed to play basketball at Western Kentucky University. Talk to me about that university, why you chose them, and their coach, Michelle Clark. Um, why I chose it really was just because of the coaching staff. I really love Coach Hurd and all the other coaches there. Uh, they're very nice, good people, and uh, they're doing a great thing with the program, and I feel like the women's basketball team is going in the right direction there. Uh, also, I want you to talk to me a little bit about, uh, I think it was maybe during Jenkins days this year, they put a sign up for you. Basically, it says home of Whitney Creech 2015 National High School Field Goal Scoring Champion. Uh, I know that uh, Johnny Ray Turner and Leslie Combs were in for that. Our Mayor Todd DePriest was uh, there to, to give you that award. Talk to us a little bit about that. Um, that was an incredible honor. It caught me off by surprise. I really wasn't expecting it. Just to uh, get that recognition from my city and the state was just unbelievable. It is a huge honor, and believe me, you, you do deserve it. Um, now I'd like for you to talk a little bit about your, your family. For the folks who don't know who your mom and dad are, uh, let them know who they are. Uh, my mom's Janice Creech. Uh, uh, she grew up in Jenkins here, went to the high school here, and is a proud alum here. My dad is Dwight Creech. He's from Knott County. He's the principal at Carl Creek Elementary. And, uh, they both have uh, lived here our whole lives and uh, just strong believers in Christ. And, Sums it up. And uh, talk to me about your, your basketball coach, Ashley. Uh, coach Addington took over the program when I was in sixth grade. Uh, it was kind of a mess when she got it over. You know, we had losing record uh, the previous year. I think we may not won a game or just won one that season when I was in fifth grade. So she's done a great job turning the program around. Has really done a good job of just getting us all to play together and just letting us all know our roles and what we have to do. And we all do a good job of just doing what she wants us to. Uh, how about some of your teammates? Uh, my teammates are great. I wouldn't be in this position I am without them. And they put me in a good position to be successful. And uh, they all do a great job. I think we all play very good defense. And we all know what to do on offense. We know when to pass it to each other, when to set screens, and when to cut. So we uh, work very good together. A lot of people have put a, a big emphasis on you breaking that scoring record. Now that you've done it, do you feel like there's a weight lifted off of your shoulders? Yeah, it was a very exciting thing to do to break the record, but it was also a relief just to kind of have that off my shoulders because, you know, that's what all you heard about was when is she going to do it. Everybody just kind of saying she's going to get it this game and this game. So there's kind of a lot of pressure on you. Now, a real serious question for you. What are you going to do uh, at Western Kentucky University besides play basketball? Um, planning on majoring in elementary education and hopefully once I get into the school system, get my feet wet, I'd hope to tag along a coaching job also. 
I think that would be a, a very good thing for you to do. Is there, is there anything, Whitney, you'd like to say before I let you go today? Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for all the people who's helped me get to this point and I couldn't do it without them. Well, I, I want to let you know something that you already know. The mountain people, uh, the state of Kentucky is extremely proud of you. Um, you're a very deserving young lady, and I really appreciate you taking the time to let me talk to you. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. You're welcome.